The average American eats about 200 pounds of meat a year, and before all of that meat ends up on our dinner tables, it first has to be processed at a slaughterhouse. Working in a meatpacking factory is a tough, dangerous job. Sharp knives, fast production lines, and long hours can result in workers losing fingers and limbs and getting caught in machinery. But it's also dangerous because of what might seem to you and me like a mundane problem, injuries caused by performing the same motion over and over and over again. Think about what life in a meatpacking plant is like, working on an assembly line, repeatedly slicing chicken breasts, or cutting apart beef carcasses, or lifting and packaging hams. That takes a lot of muscle. Some meatpacking workers reported making 40,000 to 100,000 motions every eight-hour shift. And they have to do it quickly. Some workers say they have to complete 150 motions per minute. That's why regulators say a common problem among meatpacking workers is musculoskeletal disorders, or MSDs, things like carpal tunnel syndrome, tendinitis, and rotator cuff injuries. A 2013 government study found that repetitive motion cases caused by microtasks among meatpacking workers was 10 times that of other private industries. Another study found that 57% of all workers at a South Carolina poultry plant reported at least one MSD. Workers routinely have to miss work or even quit thanks to these injuries. Sometimes they end up injured for life. One former pork plant worker told us that she sustained permanent injuries to her right shoulder while on the job. Teresa started in a Nebraska plant when she was 23 and left five years later. Now, Teresa says, she can barely hold and feed her children. Follow more of Harvest Public Media's reporting about slaughterhouse safety at harvestpublicmedia.org dangerous.